Namaste. We're meeting today for the alignment of the moon of the month of September, which I have many adventures for you. And the adventures, we can see the adventures of this moon with an image. If you can imagine a big dinosaur that navigates in the waters and he have a long neck and a little hands and a big tail, like a dragon, dinosaur <clears throat> kind of species. And this particular animal is not only conscious, but also can navigate in the deep waters, can walk on earth, and it can also fly. It appears sometimes with one head or with nine heads. And it plunge in the deep waters deep in the sea from ancient, ancient times. Sea that is within us. As the unconscious material. The deep down of your unconscious is even deeper than subconscious, is unconscious. And as you move through these depths, it stimulates all the waters that have been stagnated. <clears throat> so, we have this opportunity that the waters that were in the depths, unseen, but always sustaining the waters, can be seen. And this happens in two levels. One, is in any misconception that you have in your trinity at the level of your heart, what do you love? Because what you love now is being questioned. What do you love in the depths? No, your house or kids or relations, but what you truly love in the depths. And that alignment of your love if it's not in congruence 
with something impersonal. If it's not in congruence with the willingness for you to work on areas that you have denied from ancient times. So, in that way, relationships, if you have any, close to you, you realize that they are not meant to make you happy, but to make you work. So the conception of the expectation that, oh, I am married or having a relationship with somebody for this particular purpose is no more. Anything that you love near is meant to be used as platform for you to work. To see what deep, 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 deep down you love the most. We usually love our positions. For example, in early times of your existence, in the time of that being, You may have concluded that you have to prove that you are capable. That you need to prove that you know. That you need to prove that you are lovable. That you need to prove that you can change others. That you need to prove your existence in relation to an exterior consequence. That is obsolete in the passages of this particular times. So this moon is linked. I always say we forget what happened in the last moon and the last moon. It's all a sequence of a wave that goes into the depths and then goes up. And as it goes up, it shows different aspects of ourselves. All what you have imagined that you are not accepted, loved, that somebody is against you, the teacher is against you, is not approving things, is not approving relations, is not approving this. Anything that implicitly is covering a denial. and implicitly is covering a judgment, and implicitly is covering yourself of being yourself, this great animal is going to reflect it to you. It's going to talk to you. And that can be in any area in the waters, in the air, in the fires, <clears throat> in the air, is multidimensional. It holds consciousness in all dimensions of yourself.
So it's not only about the moon, this moon. It's about the overall view of how each cycle is showing us a way to increase our consciousness, a way to purific uh, purific purified aspects of ourselves, to enter into a more lighter existence of fraternity. of unity, of relaxation, calmness. So we are in the middle of the work. And you would be and are pioneers in your own way. And you may not see in a tangible way the results of how it will manifest in the new earth, because it may happen 500 years from here, 1,000 years from here. But the decisions that we are making and the ways that we are working to purify the path will definitely open the path for others to navigate more clearly and more fluidly because we are influencing all times at all times and we are influencing the now with our honesty and see what is it that I really, really love within. A love without the other. meaning that the love is only within you. You love your location, you love your ego, you love your positions, you love your thoughts, you love your way of be comfortable. You love what is known to you. But this moon will have a stages in each of the days until next moon. And each stage can be seen as a candle that you can lit in consciousness with every single aha uh -huh, and awareness that you do have of how deep you are controlling your surrender. We can say that the passages become more and more narrow. So you have to shed a little bit more. So it's very gentle in a way that is not giving you the whole entire information at once. Although is already there, the information. You may see it in nine stages. The undiv undivided number. The holy number. The nine stages of initiation. The nine stages of initiating yourself into the different perspective of what you see.
So we must start by taking the things that are in front of us that make us unease because that is where the energy is being stimulated. Second, is not try to solve it on your old ways. Meaning, seeing that if you have a job challenge or a relationship challenge, you're trying the mind to solve that for you. Rather, it's more of what is it you are reflecting on my love, my deep love for what is obsolete. It's like a move in a house. When you know that your house is too small, you need to move. Or when you know that your house is too big, you need to move. Same thing here. Our house is not only a small, but it's unclean. So you need to clean before you move. This is the periods, the proposal of these times. We will go until next year. So don't see the moon as one moon, isolated, making influence on me. No, it's me responding to the call of the celestial dance. It's me aligning with something bigger that I can comprehend. Though I do have the information because in my earthly living, I have been challenged. I have been asked. I have been called. Am I responding the call or am I holding back and saying, no, I want to keep my intimate private world. You're being seen. The heaven sees you. And we must prepare to be seen for where you are by accepting where you are. <clears throat> In your loving positions what you love that is obsolete. <clears throat> so in today's entunement, it's all about you presenting yourself to be willing to see yourself, to see what you love that is obsolete. It's like it's going to the doctor and say, okay, make a scan on me. What do I have? And then the doctor say, well, you have a little nail in your heart. And then you go, how I get out of the nail? How I get out of that nail out of my heart? What I should be doing? And then the doctor say, calm down. You cannot take it yourself. Only a surgery can take that. And you must remain still and cooperate with the desire to take that nail out of your heart. But if you go into the surgery, say, don't put anesthetic because I want to see what is going on. I want to know. I want to know if you are capable. I want to see what procedure are in the surgery. Am I going to survive? Don't put any surgery because uh, anesthetic because I want to see. And then the doctor say, well, I cannot perform any surgery if you are not sleep and tranquil and still. Those are the words of your own higher self. 
the higher self is only requesting three things. One, do not deny it where you are, what you feel. Two, act on it without intervention. If you need to correct something that is obsolete, say a job that is not feasible anymore, or a relationship that is not working anymore, act on it, move. And if it's that is not possible, the higher self say to you, leave it alone. Accept it as it is. So this entunement is, is really personal. When you say, I am willing to go into the operation table and I'm willing the doctor to see me and I'm willing to hear the news and I'm willing not to react to it, be calm and accept that the flow of life the willingness of life, the love of life, and the wisdom of life is taking me effortlessly. Some of you have stopped the willingness by two things. One, Pride. I can do it myself. I don't need the doctor. I don't need the reflection. I will just take here and there when I need it, what I need it. Thinking what is that I need. So you pride is in the way. The consequence of that is great effort and you will never be seen. You will never be seen. You will continue with that sense of, I am unheard, I am unseen. I am isolated. I have to do it all by myself. There will be no cooperation, no chances to enhance other ways. <laughs>